My name is Meg. I live with my fiance, Sydney, and our dog, Penny. By around third grade, I had been diagnosed with selective mutism, which is a type of anxiety disorder. I started struggling with self-harm at age 12, and that continued through high school. I started struggling with an eating disorder. I went off to college and I tanked. I was struggling very, very much with my eating disorder, my self-harm. I was admitted to a local hospital. By that time, it was my fourth or fifth psychiatric hospitalization. The first one was in eighth grade. It wasn't long after that, that the therapist that I was seeing was kind of saying being in this psychiatric unit of the local hospital isn't working for you. And she suggested that I go to Rogers. I was admitted to the Focus Adult Mood Disorders Program. And I ended up staying there for a little over three months. There were a lot of things that were different about Rogers, but the one thing that really sticks out to me is the staff at Rogers. I felt that the staff cared about me as a unique person with unique struggles and unique challenges, but also unique strengths. I remember that my behavioral specialist would take me on walks around the grounds. I mean, Rogers has a beautiful garden and she would take me to the garden and we would just walk and talk. And I was able to really process through things in a way that I hadn't been able to do before because she really took the time to understand what it was that I needed and how she could make it a positive experience for me. The kind of above and beyond caring that I had never experienced before from mental health professionals. My group therapist said, okay, you're gonna create a life vision board. And I was like, I don't have a life vision, but through the support of staff, through also watching other residents, it kind of became more real to me that you know, I could have goals. I had a quote for each one and it said, she believed she could, so she did. And that represented how much I wanted to graduate college because it felt like an impossible dream at that point. I am proud to say that I graduated summa cum laude last December from the university in my hometown looking back at this vision board, kind of think of that younger me who was writing that down and thinking, I probably won't be able to do that. And knowing that I did. And it took a lot of the skills that I learned at Rogers. I would eventually like to go to graduate school and work on a degree for school counseling. I have the skills, I have the tools, I have the support that a setback isn't gonna set me back the same way it used to. I really believe that Rogers is an incredible place and I mean, I hope that my story can help other families.